What's up guys, in today's video I'm going to teach you and I'm going to show you how to use input parameters in a bot, like how to declare those input parameters. This video is going to be very short because it's something very, very, very simple. So to start, we are going to open MetaTrader 5 and here we are going to open the IDE. Okay, now that we're here, we are going to do an example. So you click on new, expert advisor and here give it a name, for example, input parameters, you don't click any of this stuff, you continue and yeah, so we delete everything and we need to write something, first of all, void on init, this is just because if you don't declare at least this event, the bot is not going to compile, so how do you declare those variables in which when you try to start the bot, you see, hey, what do you want this to be like this or this to be like that? Yeah, so how do we do this? It's as simple as declaring a global variable. For example, let's say that our bot uses the uh, an, uh, moving average period. So for example, we declare a variable like this, period, and we give it an initial value so for example, let's say 14. And now the only thing you have to do is to put here at the beginning, input. <laughs> That's it, it's as simple as that. So now let's compile and let's test. So for example, if we come here, we have to take this bot input params and not, not this one, this one input parameters. And if we come here to uh, entry parameters, input params, you have it here. Uh, my period 14 but let's say that for example this let's say the following that okay we want here in the code this to have uh, well this variable to have this name but we don't want to show my period we want to show something else how do we fix that how do we do this it's as simple as for example let's declare it again and let's put a two here so now we don't want this to be shown we don't want period two to be shown so what we can do is to add a comment and here what is going to be displayed is what you put here in the comment. So for example, you can put uh, medium, well, no, moving average period, for example. So now we compile and let's test this again. So input parameters and now you can see that the name changed. So. The last thing, well, the two last things I want to show you is that this also works with enumerations, but we can create our own enumerations or we can use the ones that are already here. So for example, let's use the modes that the emas have. So we can put here enum ma method. So we declare this variable and we are going to put here, for example, method. And again, you give it an initial value, you put mouth close, I guess, <laughs> and yeah, here again, you can give it a name. So you can put, instead of method, you can put moving average method, and that's it. So now if we compile again, okay, there are some errors. Okay, there are some errors because this is not mode close. We can use mode Emma. And of course, don't forget to put input. So now we put this input. We compile now again. We come here. And you can see that now we have that name, but here you have this enumeration and you can choose whatever you want to choose. So this is very, very, very cool. And now the last thing I want to show you is that, for example, let's declare an enumeration. Enum, let's say that this is a custom custom enumeration and the values are going to be, for example, value 1 equal to 0, value 2 equal to 1, this is a comma, yeah. And finally, value 3 equal to 2. We put this. And now, again, let's declare another input variable. So this is of type custom enum, and let's call this value val. And here we are going to put that the initial value is value one. So again, we can give it a name. Let's call these colors. So we put here colors. We compile, and if we come here, 
you are going to check that now you have to choose between the value 1, value 2, value 3, but what if I don't want these names here? Value 1, value 2, value 3. We don't want that. So the only thing you have to do is put in a comment here. So let's say this is red, let's say this is blue, and let's say this is green. Okay, we compile again, finally, and if you come here, you now have this. You have the red, the blue, and the green. And this is how simple you put input parameters in MetaTrader 5. It's truly very, 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 very simple. And yeah, I'm not going to make this any longer. So if you enjoyed the video, give it a like, share, subscribe, and see you in the next one.